Hi, this is Millie Kay, and it's Tuesday, January 30th, 2017. And I'm here about 30 miles below the Oroville Dam, and just taking a picture of the river. I haven't been down here in quite a while because they were doing levee repairs, and they had the entrance to this area blocked off for months. So this is the river, how it looks today. I'm not at the place that I'm usually at to do this. It was kind of crowded down there and I didn't want to go, but this is just not very far above it. And uh, so if you've watched previous videos, you can see, see some of the changes. It's been almost a year since the spillway incident last year in February and right now the reservoir level up at Oroville is about 718 feet and they're releasing about 1780 cubic feet per second out of um, the power plant up there and most of it is being sent down here in river releases they're not holding much, just about 1,747 cubic feet per second are coming down the river in, in river releases. All along the river bank, there needs to be a lot of cleanup down here. And you can see um, up, that's on the way as the river flows down towards Sacramento. And you can see sand that is not usually visible because it's very low right now with only 1,700 and something cubic feet per second flowing through. And the river level right now is about 37 feet. So I just wanted to give you a look because I haven't been down here in so long. In this area which is just behind where I was standing earlier. This is the equipment yard that had been used when they were doing the levee repairs, putting in that slurry wall. You can see the levee in the background where they put that slurry wall in. And I'll give you a little bit closer view of that later in this video. But most of the equipment, you know, heavy equipment and, and other things are gone now. And Looks like the grass is starting to grow again. So here's another view of the equipment yard. And then you can see the, the road coming down over the levee. That's how I got in here. And there you can see the levee. So they finished putting in the slurry wall and you can see where they've added straw or grass or something all along. So I'll leave you with this last shot of the river. Right straight ahead is where the Yuba River flows in. And it's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon and it's about 58 degrees today. So I, I really appreciate your views. I hope you'll like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you later.